Happy third day of Jump Miss, everybody! Today we have four free agents from Rage of the Abyss, an effect monster, a fusion, a link to, and a quick play spell. Starting us off, we have Lil Magi Mage, a dark cybers with two stars, zero attack, and 1200 defense. You can only use the first effect of Lil Magi Mage once per turn, but during your main phase, if this card is in your hand, as a quick effect. You can tribute one Cyrus monster or Link monster to special summon this card. It also gains attack equal to the total Link ratings of all Link monsters in your graveyard times 400. Up next we have Flying Mary, a water zombie Link 2 monster also with zero attack that points to the left and right, means that ideally we're looking to get it in that middle monster zone for things like extra linking. It's made using two zombie monsters and you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. I like to think of this thing as a bit of a Snake Eyes Dia Bell Star, but kind of inside out, because this time, when you target a level 5 or higher zombie monster in your graveyard or banishment, you can place this card face up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell, and if you do, special summon that monster. Also, if this card is a continuous spell, you can target a level 5 or higher zombie monster you control, and destroy one monster your opponent controls with equal or lower attack. Up next, the quick play spell that some of you may recognize as the attack card for Varudras mm -hmm. from Legacy of Destruction is called Final Bringer's Bellow. It's a quick play spell that's hard once per turn, and it's activated by targeting one monster you control and one card your opponent controls. It destroys them. We have ourselves a Saryuja skull dread situation where like saryuja was literally chained draco serpent <laughs> lastly we have this level 7 light machine monster its name's a little tricky but we'll definitely have it on yugiorganization.com by the time this video goes up it's something along the lines of eos and svarog as well as like reimeki and inscription there's a lot going on in this card's name but suffice to say, it has 0 attack and 2800 defense, and it's a fusion of any two light machine monsters. It has two effects, and both of them are hard once per turn. If this card is fusion summoned, you can activate its effect, and then during the standby phase of the next turn, add one card from your graveyard to your hand with an effect that fusion summons. When your opponent activates a spell or trap card, or effect, at quick effect speed, you can banish one face-up light machine you control or two light machine monsters from your graveyard to negate the activation of that card or effect. To find out more about Rage of the Abyss and the other cards revealed this week in Jump Mist, make sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, and even Facebook, all of them at Yugi Organization, and check out the websites yugipedia.com and yugiorganization.com.